when I was teaching, uh, students often asked me, was Ted Bundy really your student? And of course, the answer was yes. I think the reason the students were asking me that is they wanted to have a diversion in class to get me off the syllabus. But the story's kind of interesting anyway, I suppose. Anyway, uh, Ted Bundy was my student. That was back in the 1970s uh, in Salt Lake City at the University of Utah School of Law. I was assigned to teach a course that covered legal writing and torts for freshman students. And Ted was one of 28 students. Now, the class met often, four or five times a week, so we all got to know each other well, and the students made friends. Ted had a nucleus of friends around him, I recall. But not long into the semester, he stopped attending. This became noticeable. Uh, one of the requirements at that university was that students needed to attend class, and I was supposed to take role. So after he had missed a number of classes, I sent him a warning letter that his grade was in danger because of non-attendance. Uh, he didn't respond to that, as I recall, and so I sent a second letter that said, you have now missed so many times that you cannot sit for the exam. Uh, he showed up after that and begged me to let him sit for the exam. Uh, he was very smooth, very genteel and polite, asked good questions, gave good answers, and uh, uh, tried very hard to convince me that I should let him to sit for the exam. I had hearted my opinion and wouldn't let him take the exam. He, uh, he then turned to the other members of the faculty and persuaded them that they should let him take their exams. And then there was pressure on me to let him take the exam, and I finally relented on condition that he attend class every class session from there to the end of the semester. Now, the excuse that he gave me why he had missed so much was that he was having uh, domestic problems at home, as he called it. Well, uh, he did attend class regularly at that point, and he sat for the exam, and he was... Uh, a very capable young man, and I remember he passed the exam, did, uh, did quite well actually.